What's up guys? Welcome to the Make a Wood Sign podcast. Today, we are talking to Nick Edstrom from Tennessee. This dude has taken a hobby and turned it into a full-time business. So he's got some great business advice if you guys are looking to do the same thing or maybe even just make a little bit of money with your carving. So here we go. You're in a shop. Last time we talked to you, you were in your yeah. garage. I got a shop finally. <laughs> Fantastic. I rent a space out here in Gatlinburg. It's a little barn that I rent out. So, oh. so how far away from your house is the is your shop? Uh, about half hour. Okay, got gotcha. kind of stuff, you know, because I don't have that privilege of going right out back, man. And yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's good. It separates work from, you know, personal life, which was needed. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, Tell us about yourself. Uh, I, you know, this is kind of a a reacquaintance for us, but uh, many of many of our guys and folks know who you are. But in case they don't, why don't you uh, kind of introduce yourself and tell us what's That's, going on? All right. Well, my name's Nick. Um, I own Nick's Custom Signs. Um, officially been in business for two and a half months now. Been carving signs for a little over a year. Uh, originally from Florida, moved out here to Tennessee about two and a half years ago with my family. Uh, I got my son here this time. He wanted to make an appearance. He didn't get oh, to bring you guys last time. Absolutely. Yeah, he, uh, he, uh, he's proud. He wants to show off his sign he made. This is Ryan. This is my son. Hi, Hi Ryan. Ryan. Hi. So he's getting in the car, but you can show him your sign if you want. You can hold it up wow. He did it all by himself. Like I, he did the whole thing, man. I didn't do none of it. Beautiful. Good job. Good job, Ryan. I like it. I like the name too. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, laughs> minds think alike. But yeah, um, I know we did an interview together about eight months ago, and a lot has changed, as you can see from the backdrop. Um so I've uh since I've spoke to you guys last, I've had a lot of young uh young viewers of y'all's reach out to me and kind of wanted to connect because they felt they could relate. Um, so the biggest thing that I feel like I could help um, that helped me in the very beginning that I wanted to kind of put out there is the advice you gave me about walking into a store with a sign uh, and just donating one. I carried around a sign and I don't have a lot of finished products here because I'm such fast turnover, but um, I would carry my sign into a store and show them what it is I do. And every person, every store I walked into, they want to display my work. Wow. So that advice you gave me just has literally launched and took off from there. Fantastic. Man, that is awesome. That, that just, you can't, I can't tell you how that pleases me. That's awesome. I know it. I literally took your advice word for word, man. And it just, it, everything just started lining up. The biggest thing is, is I researched my niche. I found out what niche I wanted to go after, and I spent countless hours researching how to market to these people. What kind of product do they want? What's my price range? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, I've, I've went overboard, but it, it paid off. Like, I was able to dial in exactly what they needed in, in the timely manner, and it's, I mean, I'm four months booked out right now. Wow. wow. Fantastic. Wow. So no, what, so particularly where you're at, what is your niche? What did you find out with your research? What's your niche? Mine is cabin owners. Um, in the area I'm in, there's over 17,000 uh, short-term rental cabins. Wow. Which, wow. Um, for those who don't know, when you come to Gatlinburg and Smoky Mountains, you can get an Airbnb cabin. Hmm. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, like this is one I've been working on this morning. Um, gotcha. all these cabins, they put their name and they, you know, they, uh, display it out front of their cabin gotcha. address, or sometimes it'll be their at tagline, you know what I mean? Like to reference them to their BRBO link or whatever the case may be. Right. Right. Wow. And how, how are you finding them or how are you marketing to these cabin owners? Okay, well, at first, right, I had no network with these people. When I get, and the stores got me into that uh, that realm first. Oh. Um, you know, cabin owner would come into the store. They would see what I had. They 
contacted the owner and said, Hey, can this gentleman make me a cabin sign? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and then that was my first in with the cabin owners. And then that's when I knew that there was that amount of money to be involved in that. But honestly, all my work comes from Facebook, man. Really? I found, really? yes. Oh, I know a lot of people are like, it's a hit or miss, not marketplace now, but rather the specific group. If you uh, find like, you know how we have our group, the tribe. Yeah. Um, you find specific groups. Like there's one that I'm in that's like Smoky Mountain cabin owners. And it's all these cabin owners that just talk about vendors and, you know, past networking back and forth. And every time I complete a sign, I just post it. I don't advertise my, my logo, my company name. That way it's not considered spam. You don't want gotcha. to. That's a fine line with these groups. That's what I was going to ask. Cause I know some, some groups are real sensitive about going in there to try and market uh, something specifically. Right. What I found works best for me, right. Is I'll just post it. Like I want to share it because obviously it's in that same uh, market. It's in that same style of genre or whatnot. Right. Yeah. And then right. when somebody asks me, Oh, do you make signs? I say out of respect for the group, I'm not allowed to discuss it in a public forum, but if you would like to private message me, we can talk further. Clever. And I've had no, no fault in that. Clever. They, you know, and they, they respect that. I'm trying to follow the rules and they just yeah. allow me to kind of do my thing. Yeah. That's awesome. That, You're doing some clever. beautiful work. Let me tell you. That, that's, that's terrific. So now when you put your, showed your signs in stores at the beginning and you did that, did you uh, actually leave them a display sign or a set of display signs? How did that? Yeah, what I did, I made some of the traditional stock signs like welcome to my cabin. Um, yeah. I made, you know, depending on what uh, season it is, I made some Halloween like pumpkin signs. Yeah. And then I, ha I actually went to Vista print, right? And I made a brochure. Like, and I made it real simple. Step one, step two, step three. This is how we design a sign. And I put examples that way these people can pick it up. Like, oh, I can make a custom one through this guy and take uh -huh. it with them. You know what I mean? So it's a small investment that you're going to have to make if oh, yeah. you want to scale it to this point. But I tell you what, every investment I made has made it, you know what I mean? Has came back tenfold. Yeah. It's yeah. been all worth it. Now, when you left a display or a sign display and the and the flyer and stuff in there, um, did what? What's in it for the store? Why would they do that? What's in it for the store? Uh, the, all my stores pretty much take thirty percent. Okay. Right off top, which is okay by me. I just mark up my product a little bit more. And honestly, to be completely honest. I'm not worried about making a lot of money on those stores. That to me is better for the marketing aspect of it. Just to get my name out there. What I'll get is when they repeat or when they actually want to do a custom piece. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I have so, a question. How is your camera going in and out and moving like that? Is it bothering you guys? I, no, I think I can I'm just, I'm just curious how it's doing it spent like a half an hour playing with zoom before the meeting and there's a way where if i want to walk around and show you the shot it'll follow me whoa really i thought that was kind of neat that way in case i wanted to show you guys anything we figured your wife was behind the camera doing that that's what no, I we got that two-year-old that's a full-time gig she's got <laughs> yeah. yeah i got it but uh yeah so this uh, why we're talking about it i'll kind of show you and see if it works yeah this is uh I don't think it's going to go all the way over, but I got my lumber rack set up over here. You want to hold it for me, buddy? Just hold it still. So yeah, I got the lumber rack set up. I picked it up at Home Depot. I, I needed a place to like, you know, keep my stock because with this much uh, business coming in, yeah. it was real hard to like cipher through a pile on the ground. Yep. So I was able to get these that hold it up. I got my walnut, my cedar, and um, I just had to take a load to the kiln because I figured that was an issue that I wasn't aware of is um, Your lumber wet lumber. Wet. Yeah, I went and cut down a, a cedar tree for this lady. That's a thing that's that, uh, that I found out. People will give you the tree if you want to cut and cut it down for free. 
Really? Like, yeah. I got a lot of those people in my phone book that I, I just haven't got around to doing yet. But yeah, they want the tree gone. It's an inconvenience for whatever reason. And yeah, they don't have the money to shell out to a tree service. So if it's a good sized tree that I can use, like. And you said you took it to a kiln. Is that at a mill somewhere? Um, a kiln is what takes the moisture out yeah, of the I know what yeah. it is, but, but where, 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 where do you find the kiln? I mean, is it? Um, I got on Google and I typed in kilns near me and I networked with this guy. I called him and went over there. Dude, these people are so cool, man. If they come and they see that you're a hard worker and you're just out to get it. They do favors for you. And wow. I mean, you're not going there expecting that. You know what I mean? Like I went in there with cash in hand, but he was like, I tell you what, you help me unload it. I'll dry your stuff for free. Wow. Like, wow. You know what I mean? Like every Sweet. step that I've been taking, people are just like how I got this spot where I'm at the shop. Um, I walked into this spa where I'm at. There's a spa right here and a pottery artist. Um, I went in here to see if they would sell my signs and I noticed they had a barn. I'm like, Hey, with uh, all due respect, what's, what's up with the barn out there? Yeah. I, he was like, Oh man, I've been needing to clean that out for years. And I, that was my end. You know what I mean? Like, wow. I tell you what, I'll come clean it out for you, man. Let me take a look at it. And he already had some benches set up and, so, I mean, wow. the biggest wow. advice is you got to get yourself out there, man. Um, don't yeah. be afraid to tell people what you do. Yeah. Yeah. And it gets repetitive yeah. at times, but it, it, it pays off. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah, but I, he owns the shop and sells my signs. That's so exactly. cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, so, sure. so most of your, most of the lumber that you're using then is, is uh, trees that you've downed that that you've cut and it's a lot of live edge stuff or uh, yeah. or are you purchasing stuff uh, on top of that? There's one particular sawmill that I go to. The guy, man, he just remind he's one of them people that just uh, reminds me of my grandfather. He's out there seven days a week, man, working. No matter what time it is, he's out there. Yeah. And I go out there, man, and I feel kind of bad, but he gives me such great deals, man. Like he won't let me pay him what it's worth yeah i got two nine yeah. foot live edge slabs of walnut and like maybe eight uh five foot boards of cedar 100 bucks wow. oh my god you know wow. what i mean like and i try to give him more and he hands it back to me he's like put that back towards your family like yeah he, wow you know what wow. i mean like so god's just been blessing me like every which way i turn man and, it, and it's that's so cool. just keep striving wow that is so cool what I noticed, uh, a few of your viewers reached out to me and asked if this is possible to do full-time job on. Now, um, that's something I've been right on the fence on because I own a construction company, right? I do custom carpentry work for a lot of these cabins here. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, right now, I have to go dedicate like two, three days a week to that just to keep that weekly income. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm on the verge of being able to do this full time. Um, what I had to do to be able to make it work was find another product that I could offer other than just signs. Yeah. Um, I got into epoxy. I've been watching Vicky over there do her epoxy over the years. I love it. Yeah. So I finally got into epoxy. And okay. those have been selling like yeah. like hotcakes. And what <laughs> what are you doing with epoxy? You making uh, charcuterie boards or Serving trays or what? I started out with charcuterie boards, serving trays, have like, you know, Walnut River. Uh -huh. And then I advertised those to try to see if I can get bigger projects, tables, bars. Yeah. Um, so far, I got a coffee table project on the schedule and I got a bar on the schedule for epoxy. Wow. wow. Fantastic. So, yeah. Awesome, right? Yeah. So, now we talked to your wife last time. How is she doing with all of this? Is she all all for it and yeah she is she wishes she could be more involved she's being a trooper right now she's taking care of a lot of like the uh the office the books uh -huh. you know because i mean with this much business coming through that gets hectic man the books is a full-time job mm -hmm. yeah i was waking up at four in the morning trying to do that in the morning and eventually she was like honey like let me help you know yeah so i've given her full access to that to let her so we're kind of taking this thing as a family, you know, yeah. now she has some marketing. We're 
Yeah. That's cool. Build it. That's cool because that's something you can all work on together. You know, Ryan getting in carving some signs and yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I know. So, it. so Ryan, a question for you. What do you think of sign carving? Did you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. How old are you, Ryan? Ten. Ten. Good for you. That's about how old Eric was when he started carving. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Huh? Yeah, that's huh? how old what? he was. Yeah, and he's an old man now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we enjoy it, man. I think the thing I love the most about it is just the freedom. You know what I mean? Like, you get to come in here and you get to create. Like, nobody yeah. can take that from you. Like, you don't have to, like, you don't have somebody over top of you. Yeah. Micromanaging everything you do. Yeah. Of course, you got to make money for the family. And you, and you ultimately, you want the business to grow. But it's the freedom that I love mm -hmm. that this has given us, you know? Oh, and yeah. like you said, you can create. You're very artistic. So you get to show that, bring it out and put it on wood and you yeah, know, share right. it with people. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. There's no better feeling than, than bringing somebody's vision to life. Somebody that maybe don't have that talent and then mm -hmm. you're yeah. able to deliver it for them and they're just, they're blown away. Yeah. Like just last week, this lady, right? Her daughter had lost a child during birth. It was a stillbirth. And um, they named their farm after the lady. Her name is Whitley. The little girl was. Um, so I did like uh, baby feet with angel wings and a halo, oh. and it said Whitley's Farm over top. And wow. the little lady wow. cried when I brought oh. it to her. And, you know, it touches you, like yeah, because I get involved in these. You know, by the time they're leaving the door, I'm sad from watching it go. <laughs> yeah, I put so much work into it. You know what I mean? So it's good to see when people connect like that. Yeah, Ryan, can you hear me? What, yeah. kind of, what kind of stuff do you like? Do you like animals or do you like, you know, what kind of stuff would you want to put on a sign? Be honest. I know the yeah. answer. But be yeah. honest. <laughs> tell her. She's asking you, not me. <laughs> what kind of stuff do you like? What's the thing you do all the time? <laughs> all right, tell her. What is it? Fortnite. Fortnite. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, my grandsons are into Fortnite. They're the same age. So, is there? Are you thinking about making a sign with the Fortnite stuff on it? We have a layout that I found for him on Fortnite. I told him I think it would market great for the kids, man, because they're yeah. all into that Fortnite stuff. Yeah, yeah. The amount of money we spend on that game is ridiculous. I made, but... yeah, I made some dominoes, yeah. Fortnite dominoes for both of my grandsons. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. And when That's I was cool. when I was a kid, I there were there were things that I was always looking for that I thought my friends uh, and people my age uh, would like. And uh, my stuff, my kind of crowd was into sports, so I would make little um, little carvings of uh, of sports teams and stuff like that. And uh, I made a lot of money when I was a little kid doing that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know. I don't know, but right here. So yeah. So uh, another thing I've been trying to get into is uh, affiliate with products and companies. Mm -hmm. I've got endorsed by a couple of companies, so I'm gonna try to take that action too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've been reading this book, and they said to be a successful business owner, you need to have at least seven avenues of revenue. Yep, seven so that's income kind of streams. Weird. Yeah. What's right. the name of the book? Exactly. So, I'm sorry? What's your, what book is it? Oh, Lord, man. You put me on the spot. I, I can quote the book, but I can't quote the title. I'm always in, inside of the book. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I'll get back with you on that one. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I've been reading a lot, like trying to like marketing, man. Marketing, marketing, marketing has been my main focus. Yeah. To yeah. get it to this. Yeah. Now, is there... Have you considered um, setting up and carving signs on site somewhere in a place where there's foot traffic or are you happy just staying busy in your shop? I, I wouldn't mind doing that maybe here and there. I don't think I would just for my style of signs make that my primary yeah. you know, yeah. source. I like to take more time um, yeah. and try to like uh, target mine as like a premium product. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? That way I can charge that premium price. Uh Yeah. I'm not saying that those that do on site aren't great products. I just, I don't feel I'd be able to perform under the stress, to be honest. Well, and, and, and to be honest, you have to be able to kick them out in a hurry. Because when you're out on site, generally speaking, they're going to be waiting for it or they're going to walk around or whatever and then come back and get it. So it has to be something that you don't have more than 15, 20, 30 minutes in. Um, And I know most of your stuff is, like you say, premium. They're bigger. They've got artwork on them and all of that. So, yeah, yeah, you know, stay with a niche that's working for you. Right. Because, I, you know, I thought about it. I would have to speak to and sell 20 to maybe compare it to two signs. You know what I mean? Like this allows me to speak to less people. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily a bad thing, but I even started making the post. I don't know if you guys seen the post that I make. Um, Uh, No, I haven't. Think of like a mailbox post, right? Yeah. The the bracket. I sell those. I make those and I'll come out and install it at the cabin for them. Wow. Okay. So that's the way that I can upsell these people, yep. you know what I mean, to get yep. more out of that initial sale. Well, and, you, you know, your background of doing cabinetry in these cabins, all of that stuff kind of comes into play. There's so many different directions and things that you can do to add on to these people that are buying your signs. Fantastic. That's great. I know. It's a great source, man, because I'm able to market to these people my other abilities you know what yeah. i mean like yep. okay i want to try, just try to do them bar tops man that's what i want to do tables bar tops and coffee tables so i want to yeah. really focus on that too now, now do you have a dedicated place to be able to pour epoxy where you know it's not gonna get stuff yeah you know flying in it and all that check out how all this works when i started doing the epoxy the guy that owns the spa was like hey man um I got a spare room in here if you want to turn that into your resin room. And I was just like, (laughs) yes, I do. (laughs) Oh, my God. So I got a back room over there in his uh, building that I go in there. I got all my epoxy stuff Mm -hmm. set up. What kind of epoxy are you using? Total boat. Really? Yeah. It's working well for you? It's it's great. Yeah. Thick set. I get no bubbles from that stuff at all. So the th- you use a thick set. How uh, how thick do you normally pour it? Uh, one to two inches. Wow. I just do it in one pour. Wow. I do the penetrating epoxy first on the, the live edge. That way yeah. nothing comes yeah. from the wood. Yeah. Right. But yeah. Oh. Sorry, I, I did bird, good. I get it. from Canada. Hold oh. on. Hi, Bert. No bird, I said hello. I'm good. Hey, we're doing a Zoom. Can so I you guys you? been using those molds too? You yeah. what? Yeah, the uh, silicone molds. Yeah. I, oh. I got, man. Check this one out. I got this one. Um, just let it focus. Yeah. It's got holes in it, right? I don't know if you can. Let me get the yeah. one out. It's got holes in it, and you can actually. It's got a clamping system where it clamps down your wood. Really? That's it's interesting. Kind of, Where did you get that called, mold? Can you Empire read it? Empire Molds? Really? So that's not that silicone. Look. What's that made out of? Made out of HDPE plastic. Really? But it's got these holes in here, and it's got a, uh, a piece of plastic that'll go over, uh-huh. and then it's got wing nuts that you'll tighten down. Wow. And then and so it's a built in will- clamp. Yeah, it's a built in clamping system. Those are cool. We got yeah, man, it made it a lot easier. Okay. Yeah, we definitely got to check that out. That's cool. That keeps your boards from floating around. Then. Yeah, yeah, that's the beauty of that. You guys use crafted elements, I believe, right? Yeah, that's what Vicky's been using so far. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well, you got any more questions for me? I appreciate you taking the time. Um, oh no, it's uh, it's been a pleasure kind of catching up and seeing what's going on, man. It just, I, I'm freaking proud, proud of you, man. You just, you're, 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 you're like the, you're like the poster boy of success. <laughs> i tell you what, this is how you, you guys have no idea how much this has helped me throughout this. Um, about four months ago, man, I lost my dad. Oh. Um, 
he battled a lifelong of uh, drug addiction, man, and and it eventually took him. Wow. My mom, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure you guys know my mom had passed two years prior to that. Yeah. So it's been hard for us, man, and and, and having this outlet has has done wonders for me, and I'm sure it rolled over to my family as well. You know what I mean? That's so cool. Just to have something to be able to go to and release my stress. I know a few of your other viewers have, you know, got the same benefits out of this. So yeah. Yeah. Well, that's really, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, buddy. Oh. I certainly know how it feels. Right. So, um, I understand that. But uh, yeah, gosh, I'm just, uh, I'm just tickled for you. I'm just so I'm uh, proud of you. Yeah, that is so, You've come such a long way. I know it. Last time we spoke, I was in my kitchen, like you carving were. out the back. Yeah, I you had your shelves toilet. with your wood up on the wall. Yeah, hey, <laughs> my wife is so happy. I got all the wood out of the house now. Like <laughs> <laughs> so we get our house back. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. So what's what's the next step then? Uh, I, I'm gonna try to get into content, man. Um, that's another avenue I would like to. To try to you know to get into what a content creation oh content creation okay gotcha. yeah yeah a lot of uh, uh there's a lot of ways to make money in just that realm alone so yeah, yeah. i'm gonna try to explore that and see what i can do with, with that so i'm trying to make this big enough where i don't have to go work a right. nine to five right you know what i mean yeah and yeah. i'm almost there i'm right on the I'm right on the edge yeah. Well, I mean, it sounds like you've you've got a great word of mouth. You've got kind of a a great plan. If you're if you're backed up four months of stuff right now, wow, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it is, but it ain't. <laughs> it's <laughs> stressful when you get that far, man. Yeah. There's got to yeah. be a point in time where I'm thinking of like raising my prices just a little more, or just that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. If they, if they want it, they'll keep coming. If not, that gives me a little bit of room to. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. something I've been working on too, man. Um, there's a lot of consumables involved in this and what we do. Uh -huh. I've been, I got a notebook where when I buy a thing, a, a Halcyon, I keep track of how many signs I get out of each bottle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sandpaper, how many signs do I get out of each pack of sandpaper? And I'm yeah. trying to figure out my total cost per sign. Right. Not that makes sense. Materials. Yeah. No, it right. does. Absolutely. Everything. Yeah. Because... I really won't know if I'm making money until six months down the road. You know what I mean? Like, okay, where's the money? Like, because yeah. you buy these consumables over a period of time. So you don't realize it because you get the large purchases of the signs coming in. Yeah. So it's really hard to see if you're actually yeah. profiting. And, you know, and you got, and you got to factor in your gas. If you, you know, if you're a half hour from home and you got to, you're driving to the shop, your gas and your vehicle expenses, yes. you know, a, a lot. So, yeah, there's a lot of peripheral expenses that come into play that isn't just right. the material and the finish. There's a lot of other stuff that come into play. So, yeah, absolutely. Yep. So, I see yeah, you using the Marsh ink up there. Oh, uh, yeah, that's my go-to. So you like, that's, the, that's you like the ink better than the uh, primer then? Yeah, because I can, um, I can spray it and then 20 minutes sand it off and be done. Yeah. Gotcha. You know, there's not yeah. a lot of wait time. Um, unless they want color, you know, I got a few different colors to choose from. Starbond, I Starbond everything. I got my Starbond set up here. Got my medium brown. Where's the camera? Yeah. Medium brown, the black, more brown. I Starbond any crack, crevice, anything like that. Yep. Yeah. So, bring this over so you can kind of see maybe a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. My critter, got the critter sprayer, the paste wax, the glue bot. I got my little setup here, man. Finally was yeah. able to get a shot. That's cool. It's like so a dream cool. come true. That's so cool, man. That is so cool. And you got your guys out here. You'll have to stop and see me, man, if you guys ever make it out here. We'll make it out there. That's one of the places, Ryan and, and everybody, we all want to go out. And... Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Before we came here, man, now. Five minutes up the road, there's Greenbrier National. It's it's a trail in the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. We went and took a little hike this morning before we got here, mm -hmm. and just to have that access is is uh, oh my god, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. We went and sat by the river and just skipped rocks for a little bit. <laughs> like, I love it, man. That's yeah. Cool. That's, That's so good cool. Time. <clears throat> good time with you and Ryan. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, uh, what we have any other questions for the man? No, I'm just so proud of you. Yeah. Thank That's you, guys. Just, that's just awesome. So, you know, we're always here, you know, supporting you. Whatever we can do, you let us know. I appreciate it. There is something I want to holler at you guys about. I'll, maybe I'll call you once we get finished here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Give me a call. Call him. I got to yeah. Oh, by the way, Ryan would be here. He so wanted to be yeah. here, but he got something in his eye last night. Had to go to the emergency oh. room. Uh, they flushed it out. He's okay, but then he had to go pick up a prescription. So uh, he's just he's just sick that he couldn't be here. Yeah, he but it happened literally it. like an hour ago. Dude, I, I'm so bad about that too. I don't wear glasses, PPE. I need to start. Yeah, he's the funny <laughs> thing is we were carving all day yesterday on this big project, and he said right. he didn't get any sawdust in his eyes when he was doing that. It was when he was taking a shower and all the sawdust came off. It came off the top of his head and went right in his eye. Wow. <laughs> you're supposed to close your eyes when you're taking a shower. <laughs> but anyway, no. yeah. So he sends his best. He's kind of, he's just really upset that he couldn't make it because he really wanted to talk to you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll catch up again. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure. All right, brother. Man, it's great to meet you. And Ryan, if you can hear me, it was, it was nice to nice meet you, to buddy. Thank you, Ryan. Keep up the good work, buddy. <laughs> And thank you. He's right here on the phone. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. right. You guys take Bye. Bye. Take it easy, guys. You guys okay, take buddy. Care. See you, man. Bye. Bye. Congratulations, brother. Thank you again. See ya.